Hello everyone, eh? Welcome back to the walkthrough. Time to enter the maze of doom now. And make sure you kill these guys off. They're just they're just gonna give you ire all over the place if you don't. <laughs> just, they go right through the the barricades and whatnot, so yeah. Uh, I'm just now I think there's only two here, come to think of it, so I think I'll just uh, talon trot my way through the rest of it nice and quick like. And yeah, there's there's a bunch of stuff to find, and it's tedious. So yeah, uh, let's just minimize our tedium by going into Talon Trot mode right away. And no, oh, that was the last one. Wow, awesome. <laughs> Number seven, continuing on the world. We're gonna finish off this part, whether you like it or not. And also, I'll probably end up having a little bit of extra time left to use the transformation outside of the world. And, uh, yeah, so, just, oh, no! <laughs> You're hitting the wrong direction. Well, there's no more teehees outside anyway, so that's, that's alright. Alright, now I'm gonna go over to this wing and start clearing this out. It's, uh, it's, it's a maze. It takes a while. <laughs> there's a note there. Uh, okay, 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 I think we are good. I th wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wasn't there, like, a little cubby hole? Or can I not enter that from this side? I might not... Yeah, I can't enter it from this side. Okay, I gotta jump down to it from above. That contains a mumble token, and also a specific side route for our pumpkin uh, something friend in the future. Let's just put... Let's just get that out there. <laughs> And, uh, I do believe, actually, I'll be able to do that now, come to think of it. Because, yeah, I think I've got this all cleared out. It's on the outside, and the inside, and the upside, and the downside. I think so. It's time, I think. If not, I'll have to transform back to go over here to Mumble. Yeah, that's how you get over here. Ecom Bokum? Anything? Oh, Golden Feather, okay. And over here... We are gonna get ourselves a fresh new transformation after we, you know, go up top. <laughs> you know, the drill. Always check the ceiling structure here before we do anything. I think there's just the golden feather and then that's it. Yeah, just one. Uh, I like the eye decorations in here that- Oh! I don't like the flames though. Flames, not good. <laughs> Alright, 20 tokens. Here we go. Arrgh. Behold, Pumpkin! Yeah, we are our own pumpkin friend. <laughs> Makes good soup. I bet better leave here, because this doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> Stick around. Now, um, there are these things here, and there's also this thing here, if you don't break down the gate to get back to it. So that's a pretty nice thing. Now, um, by the power of your pumpkin, we can now enter tiny areas, but we are completely harmless in our selves, so, uh, gotta be careful. And this is partly why I decided to kill things off before I actually started my trek as a pumpkin. Because I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't have too much difficulty getting around here. Uh, like, basically I took care of the main enemies that would generally be in my way <laughs> before actually going through here, because, yeah. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna start out being a pumpkin, because this is just so, so much easier to do as a pumpkin, but though it is possible to do as Banjo-Kazooie, is go down this well right here. Just plop down here, and look at all these whip cracks. Look at all these. Well, normally you'd have to try and swim in between them, and that is just a world of hurt. It takes forever to do, and there's also a jiggy in this bucket, so go ahead and grab that jiggy while you're down here as well. Another thing is that pumpkins don't need air for some reason, so just have... Oh, I can't go under there? Okay. So, uh, just enjoy going through here as a pumpkin, because it's no big deal when you are a pumpkin. Yep, yep, yep. Unless you, you know, run yourself right directly into one of the whip cracks. That's, uh, that's a, you know, you think that you could do. <laughs> and now we can get the feathers and stuff that's hanging out in the water. Because, well, we could have gotten these before if you wanted to take a hit, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> now, over here, because I took damage, I'll grab that that I had laying out there. This water is still completely harmless to us for some reason. I don't know why some water hurts us, but others doesn't. 
I don't know, I don't know, but I probably shouldn't question it. No, actually, I'm guessing that one is polluted, the other one is not. And now I'm gonna try and get myself through that maze as a pumpkin. Because I think that's the fastest way to do it, rather than going around the other way, I think, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> and I'm gonna go around here, yes. Then I go under here. Behold. Yep, this is that dead-end place that I was talking about the last part. And... and, and, and... We can go up on top of the thorns now. Oh yeah, look how fancy we're getting. <laughs> Yep, they don't hurt the pumpkins one bit. Uh, you can also go all the way around over here if you'd like, but you kind of run out of real estate there and you eventually just fall off the edge. So it's just kind of here for detailing more than anything. And alright, going back this way though, there is something for us. Something quite good, in fact. If we jump across here and just keep going along the border... There is... wait, no, no, I went too far. I need to go... It's actually back this way and up around the other zigzag of the maze type thing here. Yeah, yeah, this is like a double maze of sorts going along here. Yeah, now I gotta go this way to actually go on the roof. Now, why would we go on the roof is because remember there are these open windows that I broke, up, broke open ahead of time? Well, first off, we can go underneath here and get another empty honeycomb. Oh yeah! And also, I guess we can collect the gold feathers and eggs around here. Uh, where are the eggs around this area? Yeah, there they are. <laughs> there they are. Then there's another open window hopping along over around this way. I don't know how a pumpkin has so much grip on the roof, but uh, best not to question the game logic. So now about Logo here. Yeah, we're gonna go in it again! Happy landings, little one! <laughs> yeah, I think it's just uh, rusty water. I'm hoping. Really hoping, but uh, that probably wouldn't explain this stuff! Yes! Uh, you can get those if you're savvy enough to uh, run through them after the third chomp. Yeah, these are just regular old chompas. Whoops! There we go. Whip cracks. Yeah, since we're harmless and we can't attack anything, these are effectively invincible enemies. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So, I gotta time our way through them. Alright. <laughs> I can't believe it either. Okay, I, I definitely think I need a bath after that, so I'm going in here. I'm gonna slosh around in here for a little bit if you don't mind, because... Yeah, okay, I, I, that's the best I can do. <laughs> Alright, now that I got myself washed clean, I can go down here, literally go down here, <laughs> and get a Jiggy! Yep, that was the last Jiggy of the world. Heck yeah! And that was, oh wait a second, where am I missing nine notes? Uh-oh. Um, 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 I'm not sure. That's not good. I guess I'm gonna wander around here aimlessly until I find those nine notes. Hmm. <laughs> ah, I forgot this window. I had to transform back at Mumbo's. So yeah, there is this window right here on the opposite side of the second floor. This certainly looks like it'll be where my nine notes are. Well, they aren't mine yet, but they will be. 99! That means there must be one more on a barrel or something. There it is! Yes! 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 <laughs> How do you like a 100%ed world, huh? Uh huh? Oh, you better like it, because I put a lot of work into it. Now, back as. A pumpkin. I'm gonna have to transform back again because I had to get back up there. Yeah, there's no way to be a pumpkin up to that second floor. So, if you're thinking that I could em enter that chimney on the second floor, nah, that's can't do so. <laughs> I should say on the second rooftop. There's no way to enter the chimney as far as I know because you can't get a pumpkin up there. So yeah. Anyway, let's transform back at Mumbles here, 
And yeah, then we gotta do a, do a couple of stuff outside the world. Because remember, we had to set up some stuff ahead of time before we transform into a pumpkin, otherwise we wouldn't really be able to do these things. So yeah, well, there's, well, we only had to set up one thing really, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying here. There was set up to be done, it was necessary. Alright, so let's exit the world as a pumpkin, and then head over to that, remember that little shack just outside the uh, Mad, Monster Ma Mad Monster Mansion entrance? Well, since this is 100%, we can now safely exit the world, and uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good, I can barely outrun it as a pumpkin, <laughs> and I'm harmless, I can't do anything about them. Uh, okay, so remember this? Remember this? Remember, remember? Remember? There's this hole. You can enter it as a pumpkin. Why would you want to enter this as a pumpkin? Well, because you gotta set something up for the future, that's why. That's why. For some reason, Mumbo's in here. <laughs> Which means we gotta transform out of this. <laughs> Alright, I might as well... I should see, I should probably take care of that teehee. Where are you? Uh, maybe I won't have to. All I need to do really is just slam this, and then slam this. See the switch? See the switch? Remember that water area? Look at that. Number one, number two, and number three on that. This is the number one switch. Uh-huh. That's necessary. Don't forget. Don't forget, ever. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here, so... Back to pumpkin form, I guess. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of more dialogue here, too. And I transform back, and man, you sleep so easily. So, so easily. <laughs> there we go. And here's the other bit of dialogue. Pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. <laughs> we get pot ready. <laughs> I'm definitely out of here. Alright, so this is done. Now again, don't go back over to the world to transform back. Oh, no, 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 please don't. Just, you're, you're gonna regret it if you do. What I want you to do instead is to go back through that doorway over there. Yeah, the Mumble Magic sure has a large reach on this one, so you don't have to worry about transforming out of this. And then we're gonna go flop back over to remember that side path in the lava area just beyond the store? Well, we're going through there now. Alright, let's carefully shimmy our way across this now because one hit kill is the lava. Uh, lava kind of looks like fabric waving in the wind actually more than actual lava because there's no bubbling or anything like that. It's just sort of waving, churning. There's Grintilda. You might as well get some more fun facts about Grintilda while we're here. Revolting Grintilda's bedroom has smelly socks hanging from the ceiling. Best air freshener ever. <laughs> a Veruca plant growing in a pot beside her bed. And finally, you'd be sick if you saw her enormous streaky brown undies. Well, she did win that best, I mean, uh, dirtiest undies award at school. <laughs> now going through here, there's Tito once again! Woo! Woo! Yeah! So, what did Skintilda have to say about this? <laughs> oh no you don't, I'm getting that cheat code. Red feathers over at the sand castle floor. Get ready to enter that cheat code like you've never entered that cheat code before. And yeah, you can bounce off the body of Cheeto there and whatnot. So anyway, I'm gonna see you back. Oh, actually, no, wait. I'm gonna wait until I transform back um, from out of my. Tr uh, you know, Gruntilda, if you shrink your weight, you're still gonna have to hold back on them, otherwise you're gonna regain your weight. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go carefully, carefully, I'm doing this relatively well, there we go. I usually fall in the lava at least once on a playthrough, but it's working out well here for some reason. 
Okay, Mumble's magic should be ending very soon. There it is. I thought it was around here. And yeah, this is the threshold and you can't go beyond here. Though there are some glitches that will allow you to use transformations outside of places that you're not supposed to be able to use them on, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you back at the Sandcastle in World 2. How convenient it is for you, me to use those black transition screens. <laughs> so anyway, let's enter the code red feathers here and get ourselves going. I'm pretty sure you know what's coming now. So, uh, RF, F, F, F. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Come on, let's get those T's in order. We gotta get those H's in order. And... <laughs> E-R-S, E-R-S. Oh, we're all right in the line, very nice. And, and, and... No chance, Grunty. Cheeto is well hidden and out of her reach. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Heck yeah! Black screen transition!